We're doing a demonstration video on how to use the flash system to find the leak in return lines of a swimming pool. Before we do that, the demonstration, I want to just go over some of the components real quick. We have the LT1000, which hooks up to the flash mic, and we have the sender, which sends out a signal from the flash mic. We have a cable pull system. We have the mesh bag that goes on the end of the flash so that we can pull it through a line. We have our pressure rig, which we put up under low pressure, six pounds to find the leak with this system. And then we have our scanner, which scans. So when this is over the leak, then we send in a signal, we scan, and then we can tell you exactly where under the ground this actually is. What we're gonna do is show you how to use the pull guide to pull a string through, which is essentially gonna pull the mic head through, put it under low pressure, listen with the LT1000 to pinpoint the actual leak, then we're going to plug in our flash sender and use our scanner to actually pick it up and tell you exactly where the leak is in the line. So those two T into one, the trunk line, which is inch and a half. So we take the standpipe and we raise it above the water line so that we don't have to drain the pool. If the pool is drained, you don't need a standpipe. You just need a, an inch and a half nipple or converter that actually comes with the flash system. We plug the other side to prevent it from sucking in. And what we also did over at the equipment, which we'll show you, is we cut the line free and we stubbed it up for demonstration purposes. So by using uh, the reverse side of a shop vac, we blow that, all the water out of the line. It makes it easier than actually sucking it in the line. All right, so now we have suction in that line. And what we're going to do is we're going to introduce the, uh, the pull guide system. With this, we have, we have a couple of different options of heads to put on the end. This is our plastic sleeve, which will get pulled right in. So go ahead, William, stop feeding it. He feeds it nice and slowly off the rail. All right. So now that we fed it through the other side, you're just gonna pull the back line on the, on the uh, shop back. And they, there goes your string. And now you're all the way pulled through. Pulling on the other side right now, and I'm gonna start sending the mic through. I'm gonna feed it while he pulls it. So now he's gonna start pulling on it while I'm feeding it, and uh, we'll show you when it comes through. So once we pull the uh, mesh bag with the wire through, now we're gonna disconnect the mesh bag from it. We are gonna actually put the wire, the, the, the head of the mic back in, and then we're gonna put our pressure rig on it so that we can induce pressure from this side. Now that we have our flash mic all the way back at the beginning over there, we're gonna keep pulling it, and we just keep pulling it through until we get right over the sound. It's a very distinctive jet sound that it makes, and we're gonna introduce that right now into the video. I'm getting closer to it. When you get up close to it, it, it just screams like a jet noise, and we're right there right now. Plug this and we're going to plug it into our sender. Um, I'm not going to use the amp anymore. And what I like to do is I like to put it in the pulse mode on sender because it makes a very distinct noise. It's almost like a submarine, in which you're going to hear on a scanner right now. So now we're sending the flash signal to the transmitter and now we're going to scan the deck. And we're going to start from around the return line area and we're going to listen for a very pulse, a very light pulse. There it is. We're getting closer. We're right over, right here. It should dim when we come to the left. Yep, louder. and our microphone head is right underneath here. So there's a uh, concrete deck underneath this wood slab. There's dirt underneath that, and considering the lines are about nine inches down, so you're listening right now through about 20, 20 inches of dirt, rock, and then the wood deck. 